Gimbal Guy here, and I am excited and ecstatic to be one of the first with the unique Typhoon Q500 Plus. Again, I say the unique Typhoon Q500 Plus. Now, this fine aircraft I've heard people raving and ranting about for months and months. I went on the website, and this is not even available as of today. I'm just going to go over a couple quick things, the changes, the differences. This is not an unboxing video. This is just a video showing some of the differences in the specifications on the Q500 Plus and how enthused I am to be able to pilot this drone. I'm going to talk about that and two quick tips and tricks that I want to share with the public that I didn't know about that you all may not know about. So let's jump right in. The Q500 body over here, as you can see, is still 22 inches in length. The props are 13 inches. The body weighs about 40 ounces without battery and payload. It's running on the 5400 milliamp LiPo battery. The transmitter is a 10 channel 2.4 gigahertz with 5.8 gigahertz video downlink and that's the S10. It runs on three different modes which is the smart, the angle, and the home mode. The rotation rate of the actual drone, the highest rotation rate is 65 degrees a second. The roll angle is 35 degrees. Now, on the Plus, you get the SeaGo 2 Plus camera. Now, that is different from the original camera. This one has 1080, 48 frames, 50 frames, or 60 frames capability. It does have a microphone, which the other one didn't. A couple other things, it has a non-distortion lens on it which the other one didn't. It can take 16 megapixel pictures. The older version took 12 megapixel pictures. With this package, you do get an inch wider display screen on the S10. And let me explain to you all, I'm so ecstatic about this actual drone. As far as aerial photography and videography, everything is inclusive in the box. You get your drone, you get your camera, you get your transmitter and you also get your display on your transmitter. Nowadays you're not going to find that. You're going to have to buy transmitters separate or piece them together. They do have the DJI Inspire which is starting out at I think a $2,800 range. So at this price point, at this range for this particular package, you're not going to beat it. With the tips and tricks, let me let you all in on that. On the actual S10 remote, a quick tip for you. If you all don't know this, the actual remote displays feedback from the drone itself. Distance, altitude, a number of other things, the battery, the temperature. If you double tap the screen, you can do away with all of that if you wish to. No changes will be made in whatever mode you're flying in. You will just have full display, which on this model is a 5.5 inch, a full inch bigger as I said earlier. You will have full display of video, nothing in the way obstructing the view of your video that you're taking. Tip number two, if you turn the right stick on the side of the S10, which is turtle and rabbit mode, all the way up to rabbit, hold the right joystick all the way to the right, and toggle the toggle switch four times up and down, then you will enter manual mode. Now beware that you will disable all GPS and satellites, but by entering manual mode, you have full control over this drone. It's much more maneuverable, it's much more nimble, it's faster. The yaw rate remains the same, which is 65 degrees a second. But the angling at which you can fly forward, backwards, side to side, your rate at which you can elevate, all of these are increased in manual mode. Keep in mind your GPS signal now is lost, so you have to keep line of sight on the actual drone. There is no home mode in manual mode. With the unique Typhoon Q500 Plus package, you will receive a free gimbal grip for your SeaGo 2 Plus camera. While using this free grip, it will allow you to disconnect the SeaGo 2 Plus camera from the actual drone connected to the grip and now you have ground footage capabilities with the 3-axis gimbal. Steady and precise footage can be captured without a problem. As you can see in the video, you can hook up your cell phone, link it to your cell phone wirelessly through its own wireless link that's 
in the actual camera itself and you can view it through your own viewfinder, tablet, whatever your choice is. Also included in the Unice Typhoon Q500 Plus package is a carrying case for everything that you need to be ready to fly on the go. Not only is the Q500 Plus RTF ready out of the box, let me say with the smart mode in flight, this thing is easier to fly than a Hupsing X4 out of the box. With the ESC braking and the GPS hold system, the follow me feature alone is amazing. You set the aircraft in smart mode, put it to the altitude, the distance, and pan the camera by yawning on the actual drone so you would turn to whatever position you wanted. And then you would walk, ride a bike, however you wanted to travel and the drone would follow you. And it's following actually the S10 transmission because they have a transmitting signal between each other. Now keep in mind when the drone is following you, whatever altitude you set, it's going to stay at that altitude. So if you climb up a hill, it's gonna follow you into the hill. And if you go under a bridge, it'll crash into the bridge. So just keep in mind the altitude on follow me mode, make sure that you're not going around, under, over, those type of things. I have no problem letting someone who has never flown take this off, fly it around, land itself, not a problem at all. Like I said, it's easier than a nano blade to fly. You lift off and you let go of joystick, that's where the drone stays. And the GPS helps it lock its position. So it's not hovering around and you're not trying to figure out the position and set your position. It's held by GPS lock. And here's another quick overview with Gimbal Guy. I hope you guys like, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will definitely comment back and answer any questions that you do have for me. If you all want me to post any videos about certain issues you have or how to link it to a MacBook per se or anything with the S10 controller, send a message. I'll send a message back. Or if you want me to make a video, if I got enough requests to make certain videos, I will be doing that. Thank you guys for watching.